You are welcome to Open Heaven's Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I am Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good morning friends. Thank you for joining us again. Open Heaven's is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. E. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary is intended to bring insight to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Saturday, the second day of January 2021, and our topic for today is Just Give Thanks. Let us pray. Our Father in Heaven, we thank you for this new year. We thank you for the opportunity to gather at your feet. Thank you for feeding us daily with your word. We ask that as we go into your word again, you would cause it to bless us one more time again in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18. 1 Thessalonians 5 18 reads, In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18. And our Bible reading is from the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 28. Romans 8 28 reads, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 100 verse 4 says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. Our Father and the Lord tells us that the above passage says that when you are coming to God, you are to come with thanksgiving, not with grumbling and complaining, but with thanksgiving. This means that if you don't come with thanksgiving, then he can decide not to open his gates for you. Many people's prayers do not get answered because all they do is complain and murmur to God. You are complaining that you have no car, when someone else has a car but cannot rise from his sick bed. You are complaining that you have no shoes, when someone else has no legs. Just give thanks. No matter what you are going through, there are millions of people around the world going through worse situations. Make a habit of always thanking God for what you have. There are some little things we often take for granted. One day, my wife called to check on a sick person we had been praying for. After the phone call, she told me the fellow said, Help me thank God that I was able to wear my clothes by myself today. Even I, the general overseer, had never thought of thanking God for the ability to dress up by myself. Don't put your attention in the things that you don't have. Rather, put it on all the great things that God is already doing for you. God enjoys being with people who are full of thanks and praises of his name, but he detests murmurers. In 1 Corinthians 10 verse 10, the Bible says that when the Israelites murmured, they were destroyed. The scripture tells us, Neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. Joseph, for instance, never murmured against God even while in slavery and in prison. Thus, he fulfilled his destiny and prospered because the Bible says God was with him, according to Genesis 39 from verse 2 to 3. You want God to help you through all your challenges in life and lead you to a glorious future? Thank him at all times. God bless his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Still in the spirit of the new year, it is only wise to give thanks to God for the ability to even see the year. It is needless to say that there are so many who wanted to see this year but could not. Our Father and the Lord today makes us see reasons why we must thank God. It is true that for so many people, their goals and plans for the last year were not achieved due to one reason or the other. It may seem like justifiable reasons why they should murmur and be bitter. But like we see in our devotional today, our Father and the Lord telling us, don't put your attention to the things that you don't have. Rather, put it on all the great things that God is already doing for you. He tells us that you are complaining that you do not have a car. Someone else has cars, but cannot even rise from his sick bed. How about that? Or maybe you are complaining of shoes, when some others don't even have legs to start with. It is very important that we note that gratitude is the key to receiving more. We have so many examples of people from scripture who faced terrible situations but did not murmur at all. Look at the story of Isaac for example. 
his own biological father was on the verge of sacrificing him. Yet it was never recorded that Isaac complained at any point. We also see the story of Joseph in our devotional today. He never murmured against God despite all that he went through, even when he was lied against. In the end, we see how much God elevated him. God put him in a position that he was only answerable to Pharaoh himself. How about those who complain in scripture? For every of them we can find consequences. The children of Israel is a perfect example. At every point they murmured, they received the reward for it. Look at the story of Jonah also. Jonah did not only murmur, he tried running away from God and we know where he ended up. He ended up in the belly of a fish. So if we must not murmur and complain and yet get the results we want, how do we go about it? Our Father in the Lord tells us in our devotional today that if you want God to help you through all your challenges in life and lead you to a glorious future, then you must learn to thank Him at all times. This is very important because we are entering into a new year with so many opportunities and learning this would make the new year open up for us. Let's see what the scripture says. The scripture in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Now let us see that carefully. It says, Be careful for nothing. Some other versions will say, Don't worry about anything, or do not be anxious about anything. It says, But in everything, by prayer and supplication, so you make your request known to God by prayer and supplication. But not just with that alone. It said with thanksgiving. You let your request be made known unto God. The mistake that many of us do is that we just come with murmuring in the form of prayer and we are trying to make our request known unto God. He will not accept that. Reading further in that scripture, when you make your request known unto God, Philippians 4 verse 7 says, And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. So this peace only comes when you make your request known by prayer and supplication that is with thanksgiving. Even the Lord's Prayer says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. That is the protocol of receiving from God. You approach him with thanks. No wonder David will say, I will enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. And I pray for us today that as we choose to employ this strategy, the year ahead of us would be a year of exploits in the name of Jesus. At this point, we'll bow our heads and appreciate God for the word we've heard, for reminding us again that there is so much more to be achieved, if only we would come with thanksgiving. We would pray now for the ability to always remain thankful. It is said that when you are thankful, your tank will be full. Say, Lord, help us to always put in mind all that you've done for us. Let us not be ungrateful men and thereby becoming great fools. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our Father in heaven, we appreciate you. Blessed be your name. Lord, we thank you for reminding us about the need to be thankful. We ask, so God, that you would help us to be grateful for the minutest of things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have an action point today that tells us spend at least 30 minutes thanking God for today. Don't ask for anything. Just thank him. So remember to imbibe that attitude as you go around today. Let thanksgiving just flow freely from you and you'll see him at work in your lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. We are glad that you came around. God bless you mightily. If you'd like to speak to someone or to be a part of our online community, please send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. We'd love to hear from you. You can also share this with others to bless them as well. Have a great, great day ahead in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye for now. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.